Hey guys, Krypton here. Got another video. Um, gun statistics. Got the Spectre this time. And, uh, this is another really short gameplay, so I'm gonna get right into the gun statistics. Um, at, it has a 30 to 20 damage. And at 20 meters, it does, all the way to 20 meters, it does 30 damage. And at 25 meters, it drops down to 20 damage. Now, with that, the gun is pretty weak, but, um, it's still a good gun, especially up close, but the only two attachments I recommend, or three, would be grip, extended mags, and rapid fire, because the fact that this gun has fairly good, um, sights, and, uh, anything that you can do to give you more accuracy, more damage, or more bullets to shoot is, uh, just an advantage. Hey guys, now let's get into the gun statistics for the, uh, Spectre submachine gun. Shots to kill up close is going to be 3 or 4, and shots to kill at fire is going to be 5 to 6. Um, the rate of fire is going to be 938, so 938 bolts per minute, and that's pretty fast, so it does have a lot of recoil. That's why my favorite um, attachment is going to be grip, and time between shots doesn't really matter, but that's 6 milliseconds. And uh, the time to kill doesn't really matter again, but it's 26 milliseconds up close and 32 milliseconds at a fire distance. Magazine size is going to be 30 bullets normal and 45 with extended mags on it. And uh, the reload time is going to be 2, two seconds and 2.3 seconds, so 2 and 30 milliseconds. Who can't say that when it has a couple bullets left. And completely empty, it's going to take 3 seconds on the dot. So by the stats, this gun doesn't look that good, but uh, once you put grip and some, and you get used to the recoil a little bit, it's actually quite a good gun. Uh, my favorite perks on it are going to be, um, are not going to be, are lightweight pro, steady aim, and ninja pro. And I, I usually rock low kill streaks with this gun for the simple fact that it doesn't have much ammo. That's why I would recommend it in search so much. It's like, it's amazing how good of a gun it is up close it has a high it has a high fire rate and really good uh hip fire so for the specter uh the other game types i would recommend it for would be games like domination when you're playing very objectively demolition when you're playing objective on offense on defense you want to grow an assault rifle in most cases and um not not really capture the flag because if you're if you're running flag, uh, you're going to meet two or three people, and the Spectre isn't all that good for two or three people at a time because of its high fire rate. So, uh, that's what I recommend it for. And it's the best in search. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's got a high uh, fire rate, so it doesn't have much ammo, and that's why I give it to search or game types where you don't expect to live long and you should use low kill streaks with this weapon so my recommended class for this gun would be the specter with uh, lightweight steady aim and ninja pro the Spectre with Grip, or uh, Extended Mags, or Rapid Fire, that's all I would recommend. The others, I don't find they're that good, So, but my personal favorite is the Grip. Uh, last Prestige, I tried out the Extended Mags and Rapid Fire, and I didn't like them as much as the Grip. It's just my favorite, like I said. And uh, for kill streaks, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't roll Chopper Gunner. The highest I would roll is Blackbird. Normally, I run that with the uh, 357 with the Spectre so that's my recommended class for the Spectre now I'll show you the hip fire and etc so guys this is a Spectre with uh, hip firing with steady aim and uh, hip firing with sleight of hand and that's pretty much it this is hip fire with steady aim it's got it's it's actually it's hip fire isn't all that great it's got quite a big hip fire but um if you think about it that'll kill somebody easily enough and then there's a recoil aiming in and then uh I just shoot it a couple times again just to get the point across and um well here I go I kill myself here and I get the sled of hand class out and it actually is uh not that much of a difference with sled of hand hip firing it's a little bit but not too too much and uh so here it is coming up here in a sec. Hit fire with sleight of hand. 
And then, uh... It doesn't even look that much of a difference. It looks like I have steady aim on, and that's why I checked right there to see if I had slow hand on. And, uh, so thanks, guys. And I'm gonna be posting up a Dorito Crash Course video tomorrow. And could you please, uh, like the video, comment, and subscribe uh, to my channel? That'd be cool. Thanks. Peace out.